Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new old school RuneScape Leagues video. If you guys missed any of the previous uploads, as always, there will be a link to the playlist in the description. Go ahead, check it out from episode number one if you wish. But in the last episode, we finally ended up obtaining a Trident and we also ended up obtaining the Tentacle Whip. But there was also a very, very good item we obtained. And if you want to know what it was, watch the previous video. Right, let's get into it. First level is 81, casually getting almost 13 million XP an hour. Here is level 85 construction. Already up to 90 construction, and I'm gonna be honest here, I didn't do any calculations as to how many planks I would potentially need in order to get 99. Uh, but I'm 90 now, so hopefully I can reach 95. I've got no idea. Uh, I might be wrong, but I think this is it. So if I use this, yeah, it's now level 3. Let's put it to the test right now. It should be 50% chance I save all my planks. So, so far, it's 0%. There we go, saved it there. You could probably get like insanely lucky. Okay, so we which one do I get now? I think it's just gonna say that I've unlocked all of them. Yeah, I have. There we go. But yeah, now it's gonna be like, obviously I have no idea how many planks I got left, but it should save me 50% and so far I'm being scammed. It do be what it do be. Make that 95 construction and somehow I still have planks, so life is good. Ah, we reached star limit. I'm so sad. I got to 97 and we do not have any more as you can see, so let's just keep building here and they are all gone. 7.5 million XP is what we ended up getting with this, so very, very solid. What do I move on to do now? A part of me really wants to go back to woodcutting. Just AFK it for a little bit, get a couple more mahogany logs, and then eventually finish off construction. I feel like that would be like a good goal to work towards, so let's go ahead and do that. I forgot about the points, but there are a couple of points that I can work towards. And the first one is to simply build an achievement gallery. So that is now done for the 50 points. There we go, 98. We just got one more level to go. There it is. We now have 99 construction on the account, and the cape is gonna be absolutely phenomenal. Infinite amount of teleports to my house but now it's time to pimp out my house make it worthwhile teleporting to we have portal nexus down here we have achievement gallery right here we're gonna have a garden up here in the north uh, now all we have to do is just uh, actually furnish it up uh, so this is my composition for the time being achievement here nexus here garden here chapel there uh, let's just start uh, getting items so i can actually build these things it's gonna cost me a lot of money to put everything that i want to put in my house so we're just gonna do it one step at a time but first let's go ahead and unlock the skill cape of construction. I do believe this sounds fair and we now have the construction skill cape in leagues which is sick. Obviously infinite teleports to any of the teleports but also to the POH. Extremely useful cape. Time to train a little bit of crafting with all the stuff that I have from simply doing corrupted gauntlets. So I'm first cutting all the uncuts then I'm making a bunch of like rubies. I'm gonna turn in dick side pendants. These ones probably gonna turn them into dueling rings and the diamonds. Maybe I'll just turn those into bolts or whatever and maybe rubies into bolts as well not all of them obviously and these ones maybe games necklaces maybe recoils actually recoils are probably really good once i do get that suffering yeah that's probably what i'll do actually with those wait i'm getting extra imkando and practice fragment another piece of jewelry has been added that's why i get so much xp so it basically gives me a ton extra nice that's really good since i'm kind of committed to you know first of training crafting then maybe doing demonic gorillas there's one more thing i've never done and that is to just add this onto the fury i have three extras so it don't really matter so let's combine it and there it is amulet of blood fury okay so i'm kind of out of gold ores right now i'm gonna quickly jump in and mine a couple but if i wanted just straight up crafting xp i could probably keep making like random amulets and whatnot especially from my diamonds uh but the thing is i will need the bolts as well so i'm not exactly sure all right so let's see enchanted jeweler equipped 25 pieces of jewelry per enchantment with full xp so you're telling me i can do bam bam all of them get enchanted okay this is beautiful i'll worry about mining later perhaps when I'm eating. Uh, right now, I'm in the mood to do some Corrupted Gauntlet. And I'm not always in the mood for CG, so it is time. We only need two armor seeds and we can finish full crystal. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, begin with some Corrupted. New PB, I haven't even tried. And let's see, armor seed. First chest? Nope. Okay, let's go in again. Come on now, crystal armor seed. We only need two more. No, we go in again. Okay, so let me try to take you step by step through this. So first of all, I just drop X pickaxe. Because with absolute focus, absolute unit, you don't need uh, armor. Then if I have fishing spots straight away, I'm surprised I didn't get any little fragments. Usually you get them. See these ones? I will instantly crush them just because I know I should get extras because I'm fishing. Yeah, so I fish all the spots and this will be later on used for the potion. And then I just search for the boss straight away. See, if I go one up right now, I find the boss and then I let it hit me. I hit it, but I let it hit me. So my reflection deals damage to it as well. So this is gonna be my melee weapon because it's a bear. So we kill it, we grab the frame. And since I'm going for two bosses, I don't need to kill any small mobs at all because I'll get two frames from killing two bosses. 
bosses. They are always on these three most central side edges. See, this is gonna be the range boss right now. Since I'm pretty healthy, I'm gonna let it hit me still. So it's hitting me. Now I'm gonna put range on because I don't wanna take more damage. I'm gonna grab the bowstring. So I'm gonna fish this spot since it's already over here. And now I no longer need food. I'm gonna drop this. Harpoon no longer needed and teleport in the center. I'm gonna go to a singing bowl. I'm gonna make one of the vials. I'm gonna perfect my halberd and I'm gonna perfect my bow. All the extras are useless, so I'm dropping the extras. I realized I do not have a herb. I never got a herb this skill, so I'm gonna drop this as well. I'm gonna do a kill without a herb. So basically a kill without prayer. So I might be forced to prayer flick a little bit. This happens sometimes. It shouldn't be too big of an issue. And we go straight in. So I'm gonna start with melee because melee is the hardest to do, in my opinion. And uh, it deals the most damage for me. Well, that's awkward. It deals no damage, clearly. So now it's gonna switch and we're gonna switch as well. Eat when I'm below 8. Yeah, I've never really done a kill without prayer before. Exactly 5. Nice. And it's a task because I haven't used the prayer pot. And we get a fragment. Could that be the superior slayer one? Oh my god, I finally got it. Superior tracking. I've been waiting to get this fragment for so long. I think this is now every tier 3 fragment unlocked. Finally, man. This is gonna be super useful when we do Slayer, but if we take a look at locked ones, there's only four left. Thrall damage, which I can get from Kraken, I believe. Proflectional, I got a Fletch for this one. Mixologist, got a Train Herbler for that one. And just Druid, got a Train Herbler for that one. So, happy to get that and uh, right back into it, I guess. Alright, okay, let's go. No, but more shards, we'll take it. This guy just casually chilling with a Tebow and Lance. <laughs> nothing, nothing to see there. <laughs> this guy, lol. Okay, 517, casually. Okay, come on, Crystal, give it. It doesn't give it. I'm at 40 kill count already. Nice. Here we go. Here we go. This is what we've been waiting on. Did I have a feeling? Look. Headbang into crystal armor, Sid. Works every... It doesn't work every time. It's a disaster. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna get a seed right now. Not quite. We'll take it though. Okay, okay. Come on now. Just just spoon me, game. Just spoon me, please. No. This is fine. Oi. Hey. See this? This is called pure composure and calculation. No mistakes whatsoever in my runs. And just like that, without any mistakes. We go three, two, one, come on. Hey! Oh, no, it's a bad one. Damn it. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is it. Come on. Did I get it? No. Damn it. Okay, good luck. Three, two, one, here we go. Okay, yeah, yeah, nothing in this one. Oh, 91 defense, mid kill. Fragment. Uh, I think I have all of them. Wait, do I have all of them? I'm not sure. This could be something new. No, I think I have all of them. That's why I get Divine Restoration. I'm not 100% sure though, but I think that's how it works. Oh, I'm gonna... I double clicked, man. It is It is a bit of a disaster. It is... A <laughs> I double clicked my range frame, man. I got an ad... Here, have the adamant plate legs. It's a disaster. Okay, here we go. I have a good feeling about this one. Come on, Crystal Armor Sid. Not quite. Next one. Next one is for sure the one. Pretty decent time on this one. Let's see what do we get. Yes! Let's go, man. One more and we're done with this place forever. Just one more. Crystal Armor Seed. And we have completed Corrupted. Oh, man. 50 kill count gives me Corrupted Gauntlet Master. And can we get rewarded with a Crystal Armor Seed as well? Not this time. Okay. Nice time. 450. Let's see if we can get a Crystal Armor Seed. Yes, I got both. But I'm done. Oh my god, I got so lucky. I got so lucky. I got done with Corrupted Gauntlet in 51 KC. We're completed. We're over. We're done. We have everything. Blade of Seldor, Full Crystal, Bofa, you name it, we have it. Oh, let's go make it. Here it is. Here it is. The last piece is being created right now. Let's not fuck this one up. Body. Yes, there it is. The crystal body. The full crystal obtained. That's a task completed. That's a crafting level as well. We have a full crystal set. We have uh, everything. Honestly, just straight up everything is unlocked. If I had like 2,000 shards, I could corrupt this. Maybe I'll train thieving on the elves in order to do that. But I don't think I need to. I'll have to obviously do some research as to how many charges are needed for something like inferno or whatever but i think these shards right here should suffice for quite a little bit of time now that we actually have finally done the corrupted gauntlet all the way till the end it is time to gather ourselves a couple of gold ores gold bars and then use all of our resources that the gauntlet gave us in order to train crafting now the goal is to reach 90 because with 90 i can boost to 98 and with 98 i can pretty much craft myself everything i want because then after i'm done with crafting i can focus on some speedrun tasks 
tasks and I'm thinking I'll start off with Zolra because if I do get an Onyx I can then make those into Zenai jewelry too much rambling we're just working on 90 crafting right now I don't expect I would be able to reach the speed run like this but I'm gonna attempt it obviously I don't have knife's edge equipped right now but I do have quite a good gear with like a Zami and whatnot so that is already straight away 113 okay a couple of tasks as well it's not the speedrun build at all though ah whatever I'll finish the I'll finish the trip 07 new personal best 105 new PB uh 102 new PB I forgot anti-venom though wait 059 uh for a magic seed I feel like if it didn't go down that would have been a nice time nice yeah with thralls I think it would be really simple I don't think without thralls I sh I'll be able to get even better but I mean we'll take it that was some crazy hits I think I can do this with range only what's the time did I do it 50 <gasps> 050. Defeated in under 54. So imagine I have thralls. I would have already had it. Damn, okay, okay. We fast. That was the first skill with only range. A bunch of tasks completed. Okay, let's bank. Wait, Colquat. I think that's a task to plant a Colquat or collect it or anything like that. Pretty good. Oh, obtained 25 million hit points XP. Got that mid Zolra. Not bad. <gasps> yes! Tense Fang. Let's go. Oh my god. Nice. That's blowpipe right there. Okay, we'll take it. 64 KC. Perfect. Come on. Oh, it didn't kill itself there. If it kills itself there, it is the time, by the way. <gasps> Look. 47. If it kills itself on that hit, it's 42. Oh, it's a disaster. It is an absolute disaster. It's fine. We bank. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to make our first blowpipe. 125. 10 elite combat achievement tasks completed. Four. <gasps> no. <laughs> Another one. Oh, shit. We'll take it, though. I can't be too sad about that, right? Yeah, I got some tasks as well up here. 50 league points for 10 elite tasks. Snake rebound. I guess I killed it with it dealing damage to itself with Venge. Damn, another another Tans Fang. We'll keep it though. We're, we'll grow the collection. You know how it is. Haha, <laughs> 69 KC as well. <laughs> Go on. Go on then. Go on. Come on, that's it. That's it. That's it. It's not it. It's a new PB though, but it's not it. I need to do it in one early. Oh, come on now. 040. We've done it. The speedrun is completed. 250 points. I only did it with both. Uh, so you can do it with bow only. That's huge though. I think I just did it again. I think I just beat my PB without vengeance, without anything. 035. There it is. A pretty nice trip if I could say so myself. I think I'll be done here. I'll go do some DKs. I haven't finished it yet. And now we have bow Blade of Selder, Trident everything this is my insane setup for the dks okay here we go we have twin strikes maxed out fast metabolism 4x health regen with a hit points uh, cape regen on top of that dracan's touch so i'm healing 10 percent of the damage double tap for a little bit of speed on the range and absolute unit to max out and uh, reduce like return the damage my prayer is going to be automatically restored so the only thing that's holding me back are the charges the charges here the charges here i definitely need to save this setup because this is insane so venom master divine restoration armadial in decree praying respects and holy ranger special discount and band of smite right let's have some fun hey divine restoration level two we'll take it and we also got death to the archer king hey warrior ring <laughs> 50 pointer let's go okay archer ring okay okay there we go we wield that boom that's 50 we'll take it and we're only missing seers right now this is pretty big obviously seers circle and mud battle staff are the three things we still want but this ring is gonna help us eight on. Ladies and gentlemen, fragment. Which one is it gonna be? Anything that I don't have yet? Thrall damage. Look at it. We talked about it. We got it. Unfortunately, we already did the Zolera speedrun. So now it's kind of useless. But I've just unlocked, I think, the last fragment that comes from mobs. Everything else comes from skilling. So that is amazing. I actually think I need to keep rock shell. Because I think there's a task to wear full rock shell. So that's also a good drop. That's a warrior ring. Another one. We'll take it. That is another one. Mod battle staff. Equip. There it is. Look at our points just flying up. All I'm missing right now is circle and... Uh, Sears ring, I believe. So gotta stay here for a bit longer. That's another Zerk. Not what we need, but we'll take it because it looks good. You know, Russ is crazy getting another warrior ring. I'll take it though for the collection. You know how it is. We got all the way to 91 Slayer. Just uh, casually killing these Dagonoffs. Still hoping for the Sears ring and the circle. And then I'm done from here. For a bit, at least. <gasps> 
Yes! Oh, sorry, I don't know why I'm so happy, I just find this place is so boring, it's so easy, but there it is, Sears Ring, if I equip it, that should be multiple tasks, one for equipping a Sears Ring, but one to equip all of them, so Archers, Warrior, Berserker, there we go, one to five, equip every single Dagonoff Ring, nice, I could stay here for a circle, but I honestly don't think I will, how much do the, yeah, I have way too many on the rest of the task here, so I don't think that is something I wanna do, however, I might just just out attack these ones and just kill them slowly because i'm gonna be honest i don't want to be skipping tasks and i think i can do this very quickly anyways so here's what we're gonna do i found a world that's empty and we can go to slayer cave then kill it then standard cave then kill it and only kill supreme because the only thing i'm missing is a circle i got every other possible drop at the moment in the future i'll have to kill them all 1000 times but yeah that's to worry about the future really uh, i think that's what we're gonna do though and maybe we land on it maybe we don't but we'll see how it goes <laughs> you are kidding you are trolling there it is guys we're done <laughs> i'm so happy i'm so happy that just happened by the way you can't believe it now that we have full crystal armor and we also have all the rings and we also have bofa and we also have all the fragments uh, it is pretty much well we have everything to do inferno however i am waiting for my herbs to grow because i will be training herblur in a bit and also my fragments are not max level so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm gonna chill for a while and i'm just gonna mine this ore forever with a personal banker and i'll be leveling all these little fragments up superior tracking we'll need this later for slayer divine restoration uh is going to be useful for inferno we have living on a prayer obviously also useful for inferno part of me really wants to do a full melee inferno or a full melee fire cape at least and then we have the thrall damage this one's gonna help us so much the rest is just for personal banker so basically by spending my time here afking doing something else on the side every time i'm gonna get a pure essence in the bank as you can see i'm not going with the greedy gatherer but every time i get one it's usually a little bit of cooldown but as you can see this is now 16 out of 6000 and now it's 18 out of 8,000. So you see what I mean? All I have to do is I'm just gonna chill here, let it do its thing, because all I need to do is right click every 15 minutes. And at some point fairly soon, we're gonna be maxed out when it comes to the fragments that I need. And since obviously I do plan on AFKing here for quite so many hours, this is also the place where I'm gonna be ending today's episode. Honestly, such an enjoyable episode to be a part of. The streams were amazing. The support has been amazing on these videos. And obviously we obtained the full armor and the crystal bow in this one. And also all the rings from DKs and everything in between so in the next couple of days you can definitely expect me to go for that infernal cape maybe some more speedruns when it comes to fire cape maybe infernal speedruns as well and we're slowly gonna start transitioning into the actual raids itself obviously as a 91 slayer we will also be doing some Cerberus soon and at 95 we'll also be doing that hydra so all of that is to look forward to in the next couple of days but for now this is all I had I sincerely do hope you guys did enjoy if you made it this far consider giving a video a like and if everything goes as planned, I should see you again tomorrow with another video. Have a good one and bye-bye.